Hey guys, this is Will. Today I'll be showing you how to use the uh, web-based, uh, sorry, not web-based, computer, uh, that's, sorry, sorry guys, let me start. I'll be showing you today how to use the Nick Your Genie desktop computer app for Windows. Um, it's also available for Mac, but I don't have one, so, yeah. Also, there's a free way to get one, but apparently the guy Theo Joe that I saw that did it, it was posted last year during July. It doesn't work anymore. The promo code's old, so the Framac thing's over. Anyway, now, Nick or Genie. Um, just double click that, click yes, and it uh, will open. This is where I left off from a uh, another thing all right um so when you open nick here genie this is what it looks like <clears throat> you got your internet your wi-fi connection router settings ready share we're not going to be going into that parental controls none of that either and network map um okay we're going to start out by going to internet all right, so here we are on internet, and uh, looks everything's good. Um, router's doing good. Um, internet, you know, Genie. All right, guys, here we are on internet, and as you can see, Genie connected to the router, connected to the internet, and that's how it works. Download and upload speed are your speed tests. I'd recommend speedtest.net. It is a great site, and it's way more accurate. Okay, that's pretty much it for this. Um, let's go on now to Wi-Fi connection. All right, Will Basement, whatever else is here, is basically the same as what's here. It's your sidebar Wi-Fi networks list on your computer if you have a Windows 8. If you have an iMac, it's actually going to be up in the... Um, what do you call it? I think it's a status bar. Yeah, status bar. Yeah, status bar. Okay. It's going to be having your status bar. It's going to show an actual uh, signal. Not like the bar. It's going to show like a, a little signal kind of thing. Like a five signal. You click on that and then you do your then you connect that way. But for Windows anyway, it's down here. Okay. Now that's basically all you do for Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi analytics. Okay, Wi-Fi analytics is basically you can check the single strength of each Wi-Fi network. So yeah, that's what this Wi-Fi analytics is for that. And I guess you can select it and it'll tell you the different signal qualities. It even tells you for network thing never that you tried to hack before, like this one, and uh, basically the password to it, and um, uh, ones you've joined before. So it doesn't matter if you have the password to it or not. Neighbor, neighbors, great, great idea. Neighbors, especially if it's unsecure. Next door. Okay, sadly, no, I not. Well, actually, there is one, but that. I'm not going to go into detail. Okay, Wi-Fi channel is next. Um, sometimes it's a little bit load, but this might be your PC. All right, these are my three networks personally, and um, <clears throat> Mill Basement's the one I'm currently on, so that's what it's. That's why it's blue. Over here, I really don't even. Um, the last two notes are also mine. Uh, the second one up from the bottom is the family network, actually. And, uh, that's just a real printer. That's actually just a printer network. That doesn't actually give you internet. So, printer networks, little side fact printer networks do not give you internet access. Just to let you guys know that. Alright, um, and then now we are gonna hop on over to our little friend. And big helper called Guest Access. All right, guys, here we are at Guest Network. Or I mean, Guest Access. Um, I have two point four gigahertz. My router does not support five G. That's what that means. 
if you're wondering. And that's the same for the wireless settings as well. All right. Um, I took away my password for security. Um, will guest letters are gray, but you can still edit them. So it doesn't matter if you do or don't. It's it's fine if you look the way it is. So um, yeah, I'm just doing tips. security and none. All right, that's good for guest access. All right, now we will hop over to our little to our to our big friend and data protector help or, sorry well data protector wireless settings okay guys here we are in wireless settings again the 2.4 gigahertz show sure, there we go i already explained that for the guest in the book all right um you can uh just again change the text um i'm not going to do a display all right um you can type in a password if you need to or anything Types of security here and none, just like normal. Um, if you ever change anything, this button will appear blue. That is just a password. But you have to have eight digits, that's seven right there. Now I don't know, W. And then you have, and then so that's eight digits right there. And then apply will will appear blue, and you can actually click it. That's that's how it works. There, you have to have eight digits for the password. You can't have less, or I mean, you can have more than eight digits. Between eight, 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 eight and sixty three, that's fine. So, okay, um, that is pretty much all for the wireless settings. As I said before in the beginning of the video, already share. It is not supported by my router, and I don't really know what that is anyway. Okay, now we will hop over to our little uh, ink-powered friend, AirPrint. All right, guys, here we are at AirPrint. Um, basically, check off or multiple printers. Check one or check one or multiple printers off here in case in this case I have one printer hooked up to actually not this network actually but a different one that yeah it's one so um just so my family is less confused and not gonna <laughs> scream at me all the time for it <laughs> for the for the thinking basically the printer might be messed up but not really they're just not over the right Wi-Fi network so less confusing if I have it over the main anyway um, basically, over here, list some uh, step one and two on how you can print from your iDevice or possibly Android. This is, uh, however, available for Mac. So um, there's a. I'll put a link in the description for this software as well as the Mac. Because you Mac users out there, you might be interested in using this as well so I highly recommend this this is the Windows version again it is very similar it should be anyway so I'll be sure to give it a check uh, check it out and down here it's the App Store and Google Play version mobile app basically version of it here alright now we will head over to our little um, scenery friend as in we take pictures on scenery trips all the time and we need a place to store it so a little media similar thing right here all right guys here we are at media center and you'll basically come to this the other one was because I had to my other thing backfired my hair showing so Here we are at what'll well, basically look yours will look like this as well. And uh, um, mobile devices will probably appear here. I don't know if they will or not, but anyway, this device is actually what I'm using right now for this broadcast for this video. So let's go on here. 
and just click on whatever you want here for example video all video you can select any of these you want what you might have multiple I have two random ones that showed up here I don't even know about them so they're just audio recordings that happened by accident actually so that's all they are really I'm not even <laughs> kidding so all right um network support this you need for this you have to use your email and password you can sign in or you can create a new account if you don't uh, have one you can do project registration FAQ frequently asked questions um, this is basically a list of questions you might need answers to and tools, uh, I guess you can just do some advanced stuff here. DNS actually stands for, for Domain Server Control. Alright, don't. Sorry, no, no, that's, uh. What is it called? DI. Or, yeah, it's called something else. Sorry. Domain DNS Network Server. That's what this is. Sorry, I got to mix up. Um, so, yeah, this is just advanced stuff in your computer profile and everything like that. That's all it is. Um, network interface. Uh, you don't need to be messing with this stuff. You don't want to. Alright, so this is just what network support is. Um, if you're not familiar with anything else here, stay with the FAQ. Just pretend this is the only thing that's here, if you really need to. Anyway, um, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please don't get, forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the new W Creator, renamed W Creator channel. So, um, alright, have a great day guys, and peace out. Bye.